Boom, baby. Right there. <laughs> What's up, man? How's your cracking, guy? Look at this. Mmm. What's up, guys? Derek's making bacon. Or he made bacon. We're about to head out to the jobs. Beautiful day, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I like our new little house. It's nice here. About to head out to the jobs. We're going to job two and three today in Austin, Texas. I'm gonna knock some stuff out. Hope y'all enjoyed the toast flip and the bacon as much as we did. All right, we're here. There's Warren. It is a uh, show Warren's toast flip in a second here. I'll show it right now. All right, and here, uh, Benny's already at the job right here. We're gonna go ahead and get jamming on this one. It's third day here, and it's actually Leander, not Austin, but let's keep it going. What's up, Benny? Yeah, yeah. Well, now. What's up? And line? Or, oh, right over here. Oh, yeah. Right here, they're sitting right there. I like them in line. I like them to the front stud. Same thought. We'll get in on that ping pong in a little bit. Cool. Yeah, this looks awesome. He's jamming. Oh, he don't need us. Let's go. All right, Benny. We're gonna go chill at the pad. He's moving the backs out. This is all Benny. Look, this is all Benny. He wanted to move those forward. Moving the backs out. Up to that stud, yeah. he knows what he's doing. It's nice having guys that know what they're doing. It's a good change of pace for me. <laughs> uh, is that projector gonna work right there? Yeah, right. It does. Whole wall. Okay, cool. There's a jiggity jam on it. You want to see something funny in there? Here, check it out. We're in the media room there. Benny couldn't find the Smurf tube, and I was like, uh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. So what do you think? Drop down so they can go to this shelf or pull yeah, up? No, we're okay right now. Everything will come, you know, will come you from gotta, the bottom. You gotta have to extend them all. These will reach. Receiver right here? Yeah, they don't want them coming down the wall. On the inside, we can run them inside and pop them out right there. I think that'd be just enough, see? Alright. Yeah, yeah that'll be tight. It'll yeah. be tight, but yeah, I think we can make it work. Sounds good. So, I'd rather not put an extension in the wall. All right, guys, so let me show you a little bit about what's going on here. So I've got this uh, drilled out right now. I've got to get that cleaned up. Um, that's so we can run the HDMI cable and the power from down below. For some reason, they wired that down there, and then they wired the speaker wires up here. So I'm going to get that moved. Um, we'll have to pull networking from that cabinet right there. All right, let's go check out what's going on in the other room here. All right, so we're going to back the projector up a little bit. It uh, doesn't throw, we're, we're doing a giant screen, it doesn't throw it by about two inches, so we're going to back that up. Derek's got, uh, Benny got up in the attic and ran these wires here for the Atmos overheads, there and there. And so he's going to go ahead and uh, get the wires stripped out and then use a, a special technique for popping the speaker up into the attic without dropping insulation everywhere. So you're about to see that in a second here. Uh, Mercedes cut in that back surround left, the rear surround left. Uh, the rear surround right will go next. We're moving them, so you'll see the original locations there. Uh, a little bit too narrow, so we're gonna kind of widen them out, get a little bit wider dispersion on the space. When's the pong game? Pong game? Yeah, that's that's coming. We got a ping pong table over there. Derek's excited about that. Derek, 
uh, in his previous younger years here. Was a bit of a ping pong champion. I would say all world. Oh, all world champion. Top ten. Top 10. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, he's pretty darn good. But uh, him and I, you know, we kind of have a rematch planned. So, all right. So it's coming. <laughs> yeah. So it's coming along really nicely. Um, we'll uh, we'll keep this thing going. Fantastic. There's a, a ton of insulation up in the attic. They usually uh, have about 24 inches or 18 inches of insulation. And um, you see there's no huge mess on the floor there. <laughs> yeah, and that's, so it's just a special technique. You just cut the sheetrock out just enough. You'll have like just a, about a quarter inch. And then uh, that, that saves you a huge mess, a bunch of fiberglass floating around in the air. It's, it's a pretty cool technique. So you'll see Benny do it again here. No, it's just those clip speakers in action with their, <laughs> their snack blocks. There it is. Lunch break, lunch oh, break. Yeah, there we are. Benny already had lunch. Uh, he's ahead of the game. Got What's that up, guys? Bacon on there. Yeah, look mm -hmm. at that bacon. Here, look at that. Look at that sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Flashback to bacon. Yeah, flashback to bacon. <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at the beautiful day, guys. It's phenomenal. Derek won the ping pong battle. Get a, I'm gonna get a ping pong table and be a closet ping pong player, <laughs> just like with my uh, what's my dance called? Yeah. What's it called? The floss. The floss, just like my floss. And watch, next time I'm pull out these like crazy skills, they're like, what? We'll see. <laughs> Too hard to get good by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you know, play with people. All right, guys, let's check in on our progress. So yeah, I got the screen built. Mercedes is working on border. This is a 158 inch, which anybody who might want bigger, well, you can't, because we have built this screen to come half an inch from each side wall. So we absolutely maxed it out as much as possible, inch and a half border, custom acoustic transparent curve screen. And our projectors all mounted up, Epson 4050. We actually had to back it up a little bit because it wouldn't throw the screen where we had it originally. Uh, I was hoping for it, but we missed it by like that much. So just popped a little bit of spackle up in those holes and paint over that. Ain't no thing. Uh, Mercedes has been tying down the rack over here. Here's our rack. That looks great. We already got all that hooked up. Just gotta pop some plates in, vacuum up a little bit. Yeah, we'll be on our way out of here. Let's keep it going.
one. I can get like a finger in that side. Okay. Yeah, it's a finger and a finger. Get it. Yeah, finger. Fingers, All right, guys. In theory, before, but now seeing it, it looks amazing. Let's back up and check it out. I love that little cap right there. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. That's perfect. Keep it going. Hey Gary, you got the Yamaha remote? Yeah. Oh, that's a flashlight in my face. <laughs> here's, here's Warren with a quick tuning tip on your subwoofer. Get him. Alright guys, so in this particular room, we've got you know three in-wall speakers in the front stage. I generally prefer like a big tower speaker if you're a more audiophile type listener. But if you're looking for some massive screen or something like this, like wall to wall, obviously you can't fit a tower speaker. So we went with the Pro 160 um, RPW behind the screen for the left and right speaker. TS 160. Or the, sorry, the, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Yeah, the TS 160. Uh, the Pro would actually be a, a step up, and that'd be even better, but. DS-160 on left and right, and because of that, it's a very good dynamic speaker in the mid-range and high-frequency response, but the low-frequency response, like 125 hertz, 150 hertz, 175 hertz, that range, um, that's very low frequency, you know, and that's where actually your subwoofer can produce those frequencies, that's lacking pretty severely on a DS. So what we've done is inside the subwoofer, we've gone into the settings, and then we've cranked up uh, 125 hertz here, so I show you. So I added 12 decibels to 125 hertz on this sub, and this is a punchy sub. You know, it's a it's a 12 inch, so it's an SPL 120, and it's able to really get that hard hit now, and it kind of fills up that gap that's missing on the DS160. Now, in order to make this work properly, if you're going to do this trick, you actually have to go into the settings, and I'll show you right here. You actually have to go into the settings, go to speaker, go to configuration and set the front on small. So when you set it on small like this, you can cross them over to 80 hertz. Uh, set them on small, that'll allow those low frequencies to get crossed over, so it basically gets rid of those super low frequencies and lets the subwoofer play those frequencies. If you put this on large, it's gonna provide full range to the front stage, and you might risk blowing that speaker because it's just not capable of producing those deep low frequencies. Yeah. Cool. I remember this only is applicable if you have a smaller speaker for the front stage and you know if you have a tower speaker or something you want to send that full range of sound but like he was saying if you have a smaller speaker and you it lacks in the low end range low end frequency then we can let the subwoofer pick a little bit of that power up let's keep the tuning going Thanks, man. That's Oren's first beer of the new year. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It is. Happy New Year! It's good. It's April. <laughs> it's good though, right? Yeah, that's that's an Austin Amber. It's, yeah, so it's an Austin brewed beer. We're here in Austin. Why not? Oren's on halfway, semi, 2% vacation, 98% work. <laughs> It's good. Have a little fun.